Modern Day Kids. My name is Killian and I am giving announcements for us today. Last announcements, week, announcements, announcements, announcements! Last week we heard about Joseph. This week we will keep listening and looking for the rescuer. Before we sing more songs and hear more about God's family, what? Oh. Celebrate. 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 <laughs> the people who have had birthdays this week. If you had a birthday this week, we want to say this blessing over you. God made you. God, God made you. you. God knows you. God, God knows, knows you. you. God loves you. God, God loves, loves you. you. Over the summer, Imago Kids is supporting our global team in Nepal. Say this blessing over with, with blessing with me over Nepal. God made Nepal. God, God made, made Nepal. Nepal. God knows Nepal. God, God knows, knows Nepal. Nepal. God loves Nepal. God, God loves, loves Nepal. Nepal. Woo! Nepal's great. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, thanks. Good morning, Amago Day kids. Last week we heard Miss Rachel tell the story about Joseph, and this week we're going to hear about Moses. And I'm going to invite you to come sit with my girls and I as we read today's story right out of my Bible. The Okay, three hands down. Thank you. Descendants of Jacob. Remember Jacob? His name became Israel. Numbered 70 in all. Joseph. Remember, he was already back in Egypt. Now Joseph and all his brothers and the generations of them all died. But the Israelites were faithful and multiplied greatly and became exceedingly numerous so that the land was filled with them. Then a new king who did not know about Joseph and how, remember, Joseph helped with the famine and protected the people, came to power in Egypt. Look, the new king said to his people, the Israelites have become much too numerous for us. Come, we must deal shrewdly with them or they will become even more numerous. And if a war breaks out, they'll join our enemies and fight against us and leave the country. So they put slave masters over them to oppress them with forced labor. But the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. So the Egyptians came to dread the Israelites and worked them ruthlessly. They made their lives bitter with hard labor in brick and mortar, with all kinds of work in the fields. In all their hard labor, the Egyptians used them ruthlessly. Then Pharaoh gave an order to all of his people that every boy that is born of the Israelites, of the Hebrews, must be thrown into the Nile River. Hmm. That's sad. It hmm. is really, really sad. Reminds me of when Jesus was a baby. That's right, because later in our story, Jesus is the rescuer. And when Jesus was a baby, all of the babies his age in Bethlehem were also ordered to be killed by the king. Hmm. Now a man of the house of Levi married a Levite woman named Jochebed. She became pregnant and gave birth to a son. And when she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months. But when she could hide him no longer, she got a basket for him and coated it with tar and pitch. Then she placed the child in it and put it among the reeds along the bank of the Nile River. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. And Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe. 
and her attendants were walking along the river. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent someone to get it for her. She opened it and saw the baby. He was crying and she felt sorry for him. This was one of the Hebrew babies, she said. Then his sister, the baby's sister, asked Pharaoh's daughter, shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? Yes, go, she said, and the girl went and got the baby's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, take this baby and nurse him for me and I will pay you. So the woman took the baby and nursed him. And when the child grew older, she took him back to Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son. She named him Moses saying, I drew him out of the water. So even though Moses was an Israelite, he grew up as a prince of Egypt. Next time we'll hear more about God, how God used Moses to rescue his people. And it reminds us of how Jesus would come and did come for us to rescue us forever. See you next week. Hi. Hi, Lord. Lord and Andrew's family. Yes, we are. And we love to sing songs and dance and worship Jesus. So we're going to do that right now. <laughs> And let's go! Oh!